Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. I know it's been a while since our last upload. We recently went on vacation for a week in Hawaii, but we are back now. And as soon as we got back, I had to do a grocery haul. And of course, there was the 4th of July. So I wanted to show you guys everything that I got from Walmart and then a few things that I got for the 4th of July. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I just unloaded everything from Walmart. Got everything wrapped around on the island. Now, I just got a Sam's Club membership. It's definitely time, or it was definitely time for me to get one. So definitely expect some future Sam Club hauls in the future, but I have not had time to make the trip to go there. So this was kind of a fill-in order to get me by until I can go. But everything that I got, so all of this produce, all of this stuff, all of this stuff over here was around $250. So that's pretty average for us. And actually we were spending more than that when we were doing Instacart for Publix. So we're able to now to definitely get more food that's cheaper. So we're gonna start over here with the produce and then work our way around. Oh, and in addition to this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some recipes that I'm using for the food, some of the food that I'm gonna show you guys here. So there are gonna be three different things that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. 4th of July charcuterie, charcuterie, I always struggle to say that word. So 4th of July charcuterie board, a corn dip recipe, and then jello shots. Also, I wanted to say that the charcuterie board is for a neighborhood 4th of July party. It's also gonna be really kid friendly as well, but a lot of the stuff that I mentioned, I'm also gonna be like, keeping for myself if that makes sense like for example I'm gonna be putting some of the blueberries on the board but obviously I'm not gonna need this whole big thing of blueberries so I'll just be using some of it and then the rest will be for me if that makes sense so starting over here we have a watermelon big seedless watermelon some bell peppers I love to use these for like little tuna bowls I'll make up I'll mix some tuna and some light mayo and then I'll just de seed these and cut them in half and have it for lunch Limes, I'm gonna make some pico de gallo, so I have a red onion as well. Big thing of strawberries, two raspberries. For example, I'll be using probably one of these for the board, and then one I am keeping for myself. Some cherry, this one is gonna be for the board. This one is for us. I love to roast these for a side for dinner with a little olive oil, garlic pepper, or garlic powder, and some pepper and salt, it's really good. Bananas, some cherries, two things of blackberries, huge thing of blueberries, cilantro, some asparagus. I, I love to roast this as well. You could probably roast these together, the cherry tomatoes and the asparagus with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, garlic powder. It is so good. And then I'm also gonna be making a corn dip, my favorite party dip of all time. It is so good, so delicious, and I'm gonna be bringing it to the 4th of July party tomorrow, so we need a green onion for that. Cucumber for a salad. Got some grapes, got some romaine hearts to make some salads, a whole bunch of tomatoes. These are the beefsteak ones. I love to do use these for uh, pico de gallo. These are my favorite ones to use. Got some avocados. These ones are not Hawaii ripe yet, but I just let them sit out for a few days and get ripe. And then I'll make some avocado toast or some sides for the kids. Like if we make, if we have taco night, they usually want a quesadilla. I'll give them a quesadilla, cut up some avocado as well. Uh, grapes, I think I already showed you guys that. Got some pepper jack cheese. This is gonna be part of the board, like the white part of the board. So got this and some mustard cheese for that as well. Some pepperoni for the red part of the board. Some beer broads, we love to have these during the summer. The kids love to have these. Well, Aria, I should say, loves to have these. Other kids like hot dogs. So we'll just have this with like some corn or sweet potato fries in the summer. And then some Italian dried salami. Also for the charcuterie board, I got two bags of cheese, one for us and then one for the corn dip that I'm gonna show you guys on how to make. I've got some smoothies. These are the great value smoothie drinks. Kids love to have these. Actually, I have a whole bunch of the Stony Field ones already, but they have one almost every single day. So I just picked up another one to kind of get us by. I'm hoping Sam Club will have like a huge thing of yogurt drinks. And then we have some Yoplait Go-Gurts, the little squeezies, and then Laughing Cow Cheese. 
again for the charcuterie board some greek yogurt so i haven't got this brand yet so i don't know how the kids will like that we will see but i'm pretty sure they'll like it they like anything with vanilla or yogurt i used to get the so delicious coconut one they like that one as well but i don't think at least i didn't see on the walmart app that they had that so this is my backup and then some sour cream this is for the dip this is also for the corn dip Got some olives and some pickled beets. That's going to be for my salad that I'm experimenting with. So we'll see how that goes and how I like that. Mini marshmallows for the board. I'm going to be making some 4th of July jello shots. So it called for blue jello, obviously red jello, and then this gelatin. This is going to be for, well, this is unflavored gelatin. This is going to be for the white part of the shot. And where is it? called for coconut milk. So that's gonna be like the middle layer of the shots. I've never made these before. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it on here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it turns out good. We got the drinks for it over there in the cups. I'll show you guys these disposable mini cups. And I'm gonna be using some Malibu coconut rum. And then, so some of them will have the rum and then some of them will have the vodka. Got a whole bunch of canned stuff over here. This is also for the corn dip. We have some diced green chilies. I'm also doubling this recipe. Uh, four cans of corn, diced jalapeno peppers, tomato sauce. I'm gonna make some zucchini taco boats. They were out of zucchini, so I do have to get a few things, um, some like meat too, from Publix. So I still have a few more things to get from there but I went ahead and got the tomato sauce for it. Got some stuff for Fletcher, these little crunchies. Oh, Scarlett, lo well, she couldn't have these. She liked the tomato ones so much because of her allergies. So we're gonna see if he'll like those or not. Some little puffs, banana flavored. Got some baby food over here, some peach. He loves peaches. Pears, squash. Let's see, what else did I get him? I think some sweet potatoes. Yeah, sweet potatoes and squash, and then also these little yogurt melts. I got peach flavor for him. Some club crackers. These are also gonna be for the kids, but also for the board as well. Oh, and we were out of sugar, so I got a huge four pound bag of sugar. We have some chips and snacks next, so we have some Lay's Wavy Hickory Barbecue, another favorite for the summer. Some pretzel crisp. We love to eat this with hummus or the kids just like it for a snack. I got two bags of the Fritos scoops. That's gonna go with the corn dip. And then I thought I got two bags. Oh no, I already have a bag already. But I got one more bag of the multi-grain scoops, the tortilla chips for the salsa. Got some white cheddar cheeses, some muffins. These are Harlow's personal favorites. And then the balsamic vinegar for my salad. I've never tried this one. I like the primal kitchen one but i haven't tried this one yet so i'll let you guys know how i like that some cheese ritz crackers these little nutella on the go another snack or treat favorite got some bread bagels blueberry bagels i got some frozen mango chunks i like to use this because some of the times the mangoes that i get are not ripe at all so i'll what i'll do is i'll thaw these out chop them up and then put them in our salsa make like a mango salsa and it is so good but of course we use these for smoothies or with yogurt got a big bag of m and i'm going to take some red and blue ones out for the charcuterie board and then we'll just eat the rest of them we got a huge party size one some white chocolate or white fudge covered pretzels macaroni and cheese the kids are actually liking this better than the craft and aria does not have any kind of boxed mac and cheese she's not a huge mac and cheese person but she loves this one for whatever reason so this is going to be for like a lazy dinner or a quick lunch we'll make those and then i got some near east couscous the roasted garlic and olive oil one. I meant to get the pearled one, but I think I messed up and got that one instead, but that's okay. Rice pilaf. I got a thing of our favorite protein shake. It's the Premier Protein, and we love this. It has 30 grams of protein. I also love their banana one and their cinnamon roll one, their coffee one, their chocolate one. There's even like a peanut butter one, I think, but I have not been able to find that one yet. But this is one that me and Frank both enjoy and that's the cookies and cream. I think I showed you guys orange juice, got a little gallon of milk. We are not huge milk people in this house. I mainly use it for my coffee and if the kids have cereal, but most of the time they love or prefer almond milk with their cereal. So just got a half gallon of that, a big bottle of avocado oil. Aria loves loves these sparkling ice usually i get her the assorted bottle but they only have the black raspberry one 
So I prefer her to drink these over Gatorade or juice because there's no sugar in these. So it's like a sparkling flavored water. And I also said I would bring drinks for some of the kids in the neighborhood. So usually I get two boxes of these. These are 30% less sugar. So I got one for the, for the party and then two, or maybe two for the party depending on how many kids are there. And then one for us because we do have some in our fridge, our mini fridge outside. And then I always get a huge bag of chips of flavor mix party size because the kids they all like their own kind of chips so instead of buying like huge chip bags of all different kinds I'll just buy this variety pack so it comes with five of the Dorito nacho cheese one it has Cool Ranch Cheetos puffs sun chips all different kind of stuff for the kids to choose from and then this is kind of a random item but I got them this glow party set for tomorrow for the 4th of July they were all sold out of like 4th of July stuff. Usually I get them like red, white, and blue, but it's okay. This one will do, has all different kind of colors. And then our neighbor actually gave us this huge bag of corn. They said they had a little extra. I don't even know how many are in there, but that was really nice of them to give this whole thing of corn. We love having corn in the summer. I love, what I usually do is I'll wrap it up in aluminum foil with some butter, salt, and pepper, put it in the oven. And I'm telling you guys, it is so, so good. Sometimes I'll boil them in water, but I prefer putting them in the oven. I think I forgot to show you guys this salsa as well. This is also going to be for the zucchini taco boats. So maybe I'll do a recipe for that and show you guys how to make it. It's gonna, I think it's pretty simple. You just mix some salsa with some meat, some like ground turkey, put some onion in there. That's what for one of the white onions are for. And then put it in the zucchini, like you hollow it out and put some cheese on it. It's a way healthier version of having tacos. Not the same as tacos, but that's why I'm also gonna make some fresh salsa to go on top as well. I have never tried it this way, so I'm hoping it's delicious and I'll definitely let you guys know how it turns out. But that is everything that I got from Walmart. This is a huge haul. And now I'm gonna show you guys in the next clips on how to make some of the recipes. Well, not really, you can't really make the recipe for the charcuterie board. I'll just show you guys how I assemble it and put it together Together, but I'll show you guys how to make the jello shots and then also the corn dip and also the jello shots you don't have to put alcohol in it that's totally optional if you want to do it without I'm even tempted to do some without for the kids I'm just like worried that they might get mixed up and that would be a huge disaster so I have to keep it separate somehow or maybe I can do solid colors like solid blue for the kids or a whole totally different color. I don't know. We'll see, but just stay tuned for the next portion of this video. The first thing that I did was I put all of my containers on a baking sheet. Not only did this help keep it not as messy, but also easy transfer in and out of the fridge. So the first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is in a bowl, add one cup of boiling water to the red jello and you can stir well until it is dissolved. I'll leave the full recipe down below for you guys as well. And then you're gonna add one cup of alcohol. You can use any kind, I believe, that <laughs> you want to. I use the Malibu coconut rum, but this would also be great with vodka as well. And you're just going to pour into your jello shots until they're all even. I just did like a little bit of a layer because you do want to have enough room for your white and blue layer as well. Or you can honestly do these with different colors. I was just thinking rainbow would be really cute and you also don't have to make these alcoholic as well. You can also make some for the kids too. Um, and then once you get done doing that, you're going to put it in the fridge to set. All right, so now I'm working on the white part of the jello shot. So it said to put one cup of water in the saucepan, sprinkle two packets of the Knox unflavored gelatin on top, and then it said to turn it on to low. We'll let that sit for a few minutes and then turn it on to low. Add your coconut milk. I'm using this one, which it's very, it's more like a coconut cream. It's very thick. So I did one cup of that and it said just to um, just keep stirring and heat it up until it's almost boiling and then you're gonna add one fourth cup of sugar let it cool down completely for about 10 minutes and then add one cup of alcohol we're still using the um, coconut rum so I'm just waiting for it just to heat up a little bit get some bubbles around the rim and then I'm going to turn it off completely probably set it over here add the sugar and let it cool down and then um, add the alcohol and then spoon it into my jello cups which actually it's been three hours now almost three hours and it's already set it said to do it overnight so I'm kind of taking a chance but it seems like it's fully set 
So crossing my fingers, it doesn't mix together and it'll be okay. Another three ounce packet of blue jello and then a cup of hot water and then it says to add a cup of alcohol. So I'm gonna use this alcohol again, let it sit for 10 minutes to cool down, and then you can put it into your jello cups, which I was a little bit nervous on how these are gonna turn out because of the coconut, but so far. So good. I just hope that they turn out good. I'll definitely be doing some taste testing before bringing it to the party tonight. All I can say is there is a lot of alcohol in those. Each layer called for a cup, which is almost a whole bottle of this. Actually, it probably will be the whole bottle. show you how to make this it's called crack dip because it is so good I just call it corn dip um, it's been in my family for a long long time now we have made it like for get-togethers potlucks showers parties you name it and it always goes over really really well I am doubling this recipe but if you don't need a whole batch of corn dip just half the recipe that I'm showing you guys and it's pretty simple so you're gonna need four cans of whole kernel corn you can also use Mexicorn I just like to do the whole kernel corn 16 ounces of a Mexican blend cheese this is just the great value fiesta blend and then I just took a whole like bunch of green onions and cut them up it says just to use the tops of it the green part but I like all of it so I chopped all of that up and then you're gonna need two cans of diced green chilies two cans of diced jalapeno peppers two cups of mayo camera's not focusing two cups of mayo and then two cups of sour cream now this recipe you either serve it with tortilla chips or Frito scoops that's what I like to eat I think it tastes better but either way you can serve it with whatever you want so I went ahead and drained the four cans of corn and then you can just add the rest of your ingredients you don't have to drain your chilies or your jalapenos you can add everything together like I was telling you guys these are a huge hit at parties and get-togethers I've made this for your kids birthdays parties before even though the kids would enjoy it a lot of the time the adults would enjoy it or baby showers or like what we did with the 4th of July get together. And so many people coming up to me asking what's in it, what's the recipe. It always goes over so well. So if you have an upcoming get together or a party, definitely make this. Let me know how everybody likes it because I guarantee it is going to be a huge hit. So the last thing that I put together really quickly because we were on a time crunch, I wish I could have filmed it a little bit more, but this is the charcuterie board that I've been talking so much about throughout this whole video. And these are so, I'm not gonna lie, these are so hectic to make and so time consuming, but the end result is so worth it because they turn out so cute. I got so many ideas on Pinterest. I just typed in 4th of July charcuterie board and something similar to this popped up and it had so many yummy things and also like I said super kid friendly as well so adults and the kids enjoyed it at our get-together so let me know if you guys make something like this this is always a good idea for birthday parties as well but that is gonna be it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys